Hey, what's going on guys? Today I just want to talk about how I've made over a million gold in WoW Legion. It took me about five weeks to make my first million in Legion, and I think with enough dedication, you can do it as well. There were two major elements that allowed me to do this, which are making money and saving money. First, let's talk about making money. The biggest tip I can give you is use your professions. If you have gathering professions, go out from time to time and farm. Even at the level of gold that I have, I'm not above farming. I still have skinning, and if I see a good opportunity, I'll stay in that area for a while and make some extra money. If you have crafting professions, figure out which items from your profession sell consistently on the auction house and list them constantly. Even if the items only give you a profit of 50 or 100 gold, it's virtually passive income, so you can't really pass that up. It's really important to be vigilant with your auctions. Only do 12-hour listings, relist as soon as you can after they expire, and check as often as you can for undercuts. Additionally, based on your professions, some days of the week are going to be better than others for selling. I've noticed that crafted gear seems to sell better on the weekend, while consumables from Alchemists seem to sell better on Tuesday when all the raids reset. Whatever your professions may be, try to take note of any pricing patterns on the auction house and take advantage of them. If you want more information on using the auction house, check the link on the screen for a guide that I made a couple weeks ago. My next tip is a little more straightforward, and that's loot everything. I have skinning, so I notice a lot that people aren't looting their corpses because I can't skin them. It may seem like a waste of time and bag space to pick up grays, but they really add up over time. In just about an hour of farming in my skinning video, I looted about 300 gold worth of grays. That's no small amount. Just imagine how much that's going to add up to over the course of an entire expansion. If you're really concerned with bag space, just get an add-on called Sell Junk. You just click one button and it's going to sell all of your junk to the vendor. This next tip is one that pretty much everybody knows about, but I'm going to cover it anyway. If you set one of your followers as a combat ally and equip them with an item like Draught of Courage, Necklace of Endless Memories, or Potion of Triton, you'll get passive gold every time you complete a world quest. I haven't been lucky enough to find the necklace or the potion, but the effects do stack, so if you have an epic follower, you would get 75 gold per world quest with those items equipped. That's completely insane for just passive gold gains for something you would be doing anyway. I only have the Draught of Courage for my follower, but I already think it's a noticeable gold gain. I generally do at least 10 world quests a day, so that's 150 gold just for nothing, just 100% for free. Again, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but it adds up, especially all of these tiny things adding up together, you know, looting greys, having a follower equipped with something like Draught of Courage, it's going to add up slowly over time. Even something like those world quests that give like 100 gold, I know a lot of people just skip those, but if I'm in the area, I go ahead and do it. They always take like less than 5 minutes, it's totally worth it. The last thing I want to talk about before I move on is follower missions. You can generally get one of these every day, and you'll get about 1500 gold if you max out the bonus. You can even do this on your alts for an even bigger gain. I don't personally do it because I haven't had time to level any alts this expansion, but some of my friends do it and they make a lot of money. To wrap this section up, most of my money has came from auctions, probably about 80%, and that's what I would suggest that you focus on most heavily. But there are also those tiny things that you can do that are going to add up over time, and you'll see a lot of gains from those. So now let's talk about the second element of how I've made so much gold this expansion, and that's saving money. The biggest tip I can give you here is to be as self-sufficient as possible. The best example of this is using the Legion Shoulder Enchants to get materials that you can't normally gather with your professions. I personally use Boon of the Harvester for its herb drops to offset the cost of my pots and flasks for raid. Which brings me to my next tip. Don't buy consumables and enchants from the auction house if you can help it. It's best if you know an alchemist and an enchanter in your guild to provide these services for you, but even if you have to find somebody in trade and tip them, it's still usually going to be worth it. When you need potions and flasks, buy the materials and try to find an alchemist who has rank 3 of what you need. I've had my guild's alchemist create as many as 5 extra flasks for the price of 1. It's basically getting something extra for nothing. There's no reason to not do it. The same applies to enchanting. Each rank of an enchanting recipe reduces the material cost. I've noticed on my server that the cost of enchants on the auction house are based on rank 1 material prices. Just buying the materials and having somebody with rank 3 enchant your gear could save you probably as much as 30% on the cost of an enchant. And that's pretty much how I've made so much money this expansion. I'm vigilant with my auctions, I let the small money add up, and I try to be as self-sufficient as possible. If you just follow those three tips alone, you should start seeing some big gains in your gold. Let me know in the comments if you guys have your own methods of making or saving gold. Thanks for watching the video, don't be afraid to hit that like button, and feel free to subscribe.